This young man you see is called Yi Atenju. Can you believe this boy was look like this before? From here the real story begins. How did it happen? Yuya Tenju has spent his whole life being the target of animosity and disdain from those around him, including his parents. Even worse, Yuya's grandfather, the only person who have ever shown him affection, passes away unexpectedly, leaving him completely alone. Because he has a good heart, he bravely steps forward to save a woman who is being molested by several men in his lane. He did not mind that he was beaten a lot for this, since no one liked him. His own brothers and sisters in the same school used to beat him along with other boys. He couldn't bear it, and punched the mirror one day, then saw that he punched the wall and moved away, then he thought it was like a storehouse. He went inside and saw another door. When he came inside and saw the blue screen in front of him, he immediately collapsed to the ground. There he realizes that he has moved to another world. Then he understood very well that he alone could enter that door and no one else. Then he thought it was like a game if I could see my status. When his status comes before him, he gets upset because his status is so low. Then he looked out of the window and saw that it was really another world. There was a paper on the table which he could not read at all but since his status enlightened him he could read it. After that he realized that he could use magic in that world. With the weapon lying there, he continued to use various weapons there one after the other. After using them he thought they were very deadly weapons. He kept them in his item box thinking he would take them later. As he was putting them in, a large giant stood up. Then, using a spear, he slew him in a single blow. When the status board suddenly appeared in front of him, he was startled to discover that his status had instantly changed to 100. He gets an item drop from the monster he is attacking, he will get that item drop and convert quote to his country's money. From the moment he comes out, his body changes drastically as he reaches level 100. Then, when he awoke the following morning, he saw that his body had undergone a number of modifications, then he returned to that world and saw a power level 200 monster coming towards him. He killed him with a spear shot, kill that monster and get rear item drop. With the money from that item, he lets his school clothes be made in the shop. He was enjoying the food he had prepared and then he saw that his status had increased to 150. Then he was wandering in his garden when a goblin attacked him and killed him with one blow. That goblin was high class level. It's time to enter school. They are all staring at him in a way he doesn't comprehend since he hasn't looked in the mirror to see his own face. Then, when he sat down in the classroom, a group of youngsters approached him from behind and said, Where are you from? Then he turned around and said you don't know me, I am Yuya Tenju. Everyone was shocked to learn that. He then went to the toilet and was startled to see his own face. When the boys of his school questioned him, a woman got out of the car and said, Are you Yuya Tenju? When he asked who she was, she responded, Don't you remember you saved me from those bad people? He said, I'm a little confused. Afterward, she requested that he apply to Osei Academy. Then she gave him introduction. She said her name is Kaori Huju. According to her bodyguard, is the Osei Academy chairman's daughter. He then responded, Okay, but I had just passed and seen her. So I walked over and made an effort to assist. From his side, his evil sibling said, Let him alone. Let us in. We are much better than him. As soon as she hears it, she yells, Shut up, you're insulting him, and I've already done your background check? She was driven to school after saying this. Show him around. It is his destiny to go to a very famous school. Then, the head of Usi Academy and the father of Huju Kaori is Huju Tsukasa welcomed him. His father said I have heard a lot about you. Leave it, I'm coming to the real point. Listen, I want you to join this school. Then Huju said that even if he asked to join, he couldn't do it. He had many obstacles in his mind. His father take it off and said you are a good boy you can surely do everything. Then he thoroughly explained to him that nothing should be forced on anyone. So let's do a job and become a student of it for a day and see how it feels. Then a teacher came there and his father told her to show everything well. Teacher said no problem I will explain that charming boy. He then came in and gave everyone his own introduction. Everyone was watching him for a long time. Seeing this, he was getting very nervous. 
Then the teacher said everything is fine, you go and sit on the empty chair behind. Then he sat on the seat, as he didn't have any books. The girl next seat gave him hers, he thanked her, and she said, Okay, harmful boy. Then the boy lowered his head and wondered what had happened. As soon as the class ended the other students surrounded him, a boy came from behind and asked them to stop teasing, then he came there and gave his introduction, his name was Ryu Igarashi, then they went to the cafe and had lunch together, then they came there and talked a lot three of them. After that Koori father then inquires about his experience at school, he said okay no rush think it over. He then said thank you for giving me a chance, he then came out and saw her standing outside. Then they went to a nearby shop and seat together. They were eating cream rolls from the store and arguing between them if you consider me a friend you don't take my first name, he then said his last name Kaori, to her happiness and they started eating each other's food.